So in this video, we're going to do partial fraction decomposition of this expression here. 2x squared minus 2x plus 4 divided by x cubed minus 4x squared minus 5x. Now, for partial fractions, our goal to start with is going to be try and break this down into some sort of factors. So let's have a look at that first. So I've got a cubic, but I can see everybody's got an x term in it in each part of these terms. So I can divide through all of these just on my denominator by x. So let's do that. So now I've got, leave the denominator as it is, 2x squared minus 2x plus 4. That can stay as it is at the moment. So now I divide through by x. So I'll leave an x out of it, open up a bracket, and then I'll have x squared minus 4x minus 5. Okay, so now I've got a quadratic divided by x times another quadratic. Now this one in the numerator, as we're doing partial fraction decomposition, we don't need to try and factor that out or try and break it apart in any way. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Now, the denominator, I've got this x taken out and I've got this quadratic here. Now, this quadratic, I can see that I can factor that out straight away. I don't need the quadratic formula or to take the square or anything at the moment. So x squared minus 4x minus 5. Well, I know the factors of 5 are 5 and 1. So if I have a minus 5 and a positive 1, added together, give me minus 4. But multiplied together, give me minus 5. So let's write that out. So 2x squared minus 2x plus 4x. And then I've got x minus 5 and an x plus 1. Now this is in the kind of format I want to do partial fraction decomposition. Now, if you wanted, you could break this apart a little bit to try and help with your calculations. But really, there's no need for partial fractions. You'll see why in a moment. So now my setup for this is I'm going to have some constant A over this one. So I'll put A over X. Then I'll have this factor. So I'll have another constant B, which we need to find, over X minus 5. And another constant with x plus 1 in the denominator. So that's my setup. OK, now I can see straight away, as these are just linear terms, I can go straight away into the Heaviside cover-up method. So I've got an x equals 0 to make that disappear, x equals 5 to make that disappear, and x equals minus 1 to make that disappear. So let's go through that. So let's do our setup here. So let's pick the easy one first. Let's have x equals zero. Now for x equals zero, what I want to do is I want to plug in x equals zero into this and this, and then that will give me my coefficient a or my constant a that I need to use for this. Okay, so x equals zero, plug that into here. So now I've got, well, I'm gonna have zero squared, minus 2 times 0 plus 4 and then my denominator this is going to disappear so I'll leave that out and then I'll just plug in 0 for each of these so now I've got 0 minus 5 and 0 plus 1 so the whole idea is that you get this one to disappear in order to get this number here okay so plugging 0 in here those two are going to give me 0 so I'm going to be left with a 4 and here I've got minus 5 times plus 1. So that's 4 over minus 5. So therefore A is minus 5 over 4. So I'm just going to write that over there next to the, bit, the, next to the A. OK, now let's have a, a look at B. So for B, I want to find X equals 5. In which case this one's going to disappear. So all the other terms, I'm going to plug in X equals 5. So let's go with that. So x equals 5. So I've got 2 times 5 squared minus 2 times 5 plus 4. And then my denominator, I've got 5 here. This is gone. And 5 plus 1. So 5 times 6. OK, let's see what we got there. 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50. 
two fives are 10. So that's minus 10 and um, plus four. And that's all over 30. Okay, 50 minus 10 is 40 plus four is 44. So I've got 44 over 30. So I simplify that up, I get 22 over 15. Okay, now let's find it when x equals minus one. So x equals minus one. Okay, let's plug minus one into here. This one is gonna disappear, I don't want that. So minus one into all of this. So now I've got two times minus one squared minus two times minus one plus four, and then minus one times minus one minus five is minus six, and so minus one times minus six. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky with all these minus signs, so we've got to go careful here. So minus one squared is one, two times one, that's gonna leave me with a two. Then I've got minus two times minus one, so that's minus minus two, that's gonna give me positive two and then plus four, and then minus one times minus six is positive six. So that's gonna give me eight over six, which is gonna give me four thirds. Okay, right, that's the hard part of the work done. So now I'm ready to write up my answer with all my coefficients in there. So minus five over four times x. So I'm gonna write that as minus five over four x. That takes care of that. 22 over 15 and x minus five, and that's positive. So that's 22, and then my denominator, I'll write 15 x minus five. So that takes care of that one. And this one here, c is four thirds, and it's a positive, so it's plus four over three x plus one. And that is my partial fraction decomposition of this expression here. And that takes care of that.